Okay, there we go. I wanted to enable it because, yes, it was a little bit dodgy, but now that we have enabled it, I'm not going to get drop frames and you guys aren't going to lose it. It's just going to be the bit rate every so often, which is why I'm recording. But yeah, here we go. More Resident Evil 4 today. I don't really have a lot of preamble. It's spring. My birthday is tomorrow. Looking forward to it. I'm going to be going out with a few friends. Uh, actually, I'm going to be going down to a theatre production, which is going to be quite cool, uh, over in old Bristol. So if you want to dox me, if you want to find out where Flower's going, I'm going to the theatre tomorrow <laughs> at about seven-ish. Later. Well, you could like try and work out where I'm going, but yeah, if, I mean, if Cyrus is the only one here at the moment, he could, he'll just... I'm going to ride down from Freedom Land to <laughs> see Flower for an hour for no, for no apparent reason. No, but yeah, I'm going to the theatre tomorrow. It should be fun. Um, and yeah, I'm also going to get some good food. I was thinking steakhouse as well. So, mmm. Delicious, delicious, delicious. But I would have to go to Bristol. That is true. <laughs> Bristol, it, but Bristol's fine. I, I don't like it because it's hilly. I don't like walking in Bristol because it, the actual dock area is really nice. But when you start going away from the dock and going towards the universities and these schools... It is like a sheer cliff face, basically. You're climbing on your hands and knees to get anywhere. Um, which is why I'm not the biggest fan. I do love the Doc, though. Doc, Doc is beautiful. But I'm not here to talk about Bristol. I'm here to talk about Resident Evil 4, because I have been so wanting to play this game again. It is um, such a treat. I, I need to play more, which is why I'm here now. I'm going to play this game, and it's going to be a lot of fun for you and everyone else involved. But yeah. Uh, also, Malice and Malpa will be streaming later this evening. Uh, he'll be playing... Wait, what was it called? I'll have a look at his schedule. Hold on. He was playing... Oh yeah, Alone in the Dark, which is that, like, proto Resident Evil 3 thing. Mm-hmm. There it is. Okay. Uh... Let's get the started, shall we? I say Resident Evil 3, I meant Resident Evil 1. <laughs> I don't know. You, you know me, chat. I'm not like... My brain turns to pudding when I talk too long. So I'm just going to get into this before I talk too long. So I've also uh, uh, disabled NVIDIA noise suppression. Because... Not like noise removal. Because I'm pretty sure that's where my crashing is coming from. I don't know why, but my PC really hates NVIDIA. NVIDIA. Or NVIDIA audio anyway. So whenever I try and enable it, it just causes my PC to crash. So I'm going to try and avoid that for now. Uh, we do need game audio, so let me get that for you. And then I'll do a proper intro for the VOD. Uh, no, is there no Resident Evil 4? Oh, there we go. Welcome back to Resident Evil 4. Now, I can't do the merchant voice like Morbo can, and I'm not the... My voice isn't deep enough to go down to the levels of the guy who does the intro every time, so instead I'm just like, Oh, welcome to Resident Evil 4! Yeah! <laughs> it's a cool game! With uh, Leon Kennedy in it, and also Ashley! I forgot what her last name is. We haven't actually encountered Ashley yet. I I've... They've been pretty good so far in, like, leading us down the route. We'll eventually encounter her at some point, but not straight away. Um, but yeah, Ashley exists. I'm looking forward to seeing her at some point. Uh, right. Uh, let's jump into this, shall we? Last time we were about to go, I'm assuming we we're about to go to the swamp. Well, not the swamp, the, the lake area. I'm gonna go fight the giant fish. I don't know. We might fight it. Something else may happen. I have no idea of this game. Oh, wow. Internet is not great today, is it? Fix your shit, OBS not even OBS today. I mean, it's going to be a, di it's a different thing every single day now. Yesterday it was audio. The day before, OBS was just did not capture anything. And then today it's internet. Uh, what is causing this though? I'm going to have a look. Well, it's OBS. Is, it should be capturing fine. I'm in constant red, but I don't know how it looks for you, chat. It looks fine on my end. I'm, I'm having a look on the thing. Like, we're getting audio issues, but... So far, looks fine. Uh, I'm just gonna keep going. If it if 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 it becomes an actual distractible problem, we'll just 
I'll acknowledge it then, but for now it looks fine. Is there anyone who can destroy those blue Wait, what? Wait, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. This is not what I ended the last episode. Yeah, it was here. <laughs> what? That, that, that's not what I ended last time. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Anyway. This is also not where I ended last time. Uh, I did save, didn't I? I thought I did. Uh oh. I, I did not, uh, did I not save. Did we not do the save, Flower? I don't think we did, actually. <laughs> okay, uh, ignoring that, let's just go for my auto save then. Uh, nothing happened. Nothing, nothing at all happened. Uh, how are you, chat? Uh, I can't believe I forgot to do that. What a silly sausage. Well, at least I remember how to do this section. Uh, not. Uh, I think it was faux flash grenade to kill all the crows on the ground because, yeah, for some reason in this game and in the original, you can just throw uh, flash grenades and it kills all crows in foreseeable sight. There we go. Oh, that little muffles out my audio, too. Oh, he enjoy. Let me kill you for you. No. Ah. Oh, we're doing the slide. You don't have the, the belly tentacles, which I do appreciate. But although I'm betting you guys will have them at some point. And that will be the only time I recite that meme tonight, because... I don't want it to overstay its welcome, even though it already kind of has. Yeah, we'll be, we'll be back here at some point for something very important later on. I'm not very happy that we have to kill the crows here. Although I think that's pretty evident. I've made myself my I've made my stance clear on how I think about the crows in this game, and I don't want to kill them. Saying that, though, I will do what I have to do. There we go. Speaking of what I'll have to do, I got some boobies now. I think we can also sell one of our treasures because I didn't do it last time, but that was because I think I was ending the stream. Although I remember doing a lot of shop renovation stuff at the end of the last episode, so mm, I'm going to have to go back in here and do that again, I think. It's fine. I'm sure the merchant will be fine to be doing that. Hey! There are enough weapons here to get a party going. <laughs> Good stuff, stranger. Good stuff, stranger. What can I interest you? Uh, I want to sell, I think. Yeah, I want to sell this and this. Won't do you and also this because you want me to you want to help a friend of yours apparently who's been poisoned. Uh, or well, first we'll repair this like we always do. We're going to increase the power of our shotgun even further. And we're going to increase the power of our, that weapon. We can also get a TMP, but it currently isn't on offer. So... What you see is what I've got. I'll buy this. Information is a commodity these days. I agree. Uh, let's get the power upgrade. Why not? And then... Ammo capacity for our Punisher. Why not? Try that on for size. Uh... Uh, I won't. I'm pretty good at not dying. Oh, we can make a flash grenade. I'm not going to. I'm going to make... I mean, I can make more rifle ammo, but I... I'll tell you what. We'll put the... Uh... The uh, bolt gun away for a little bit. And instead of using that, we'll use the rifle instead. So we'll bring back in this. Oh, we need space for it. Okay, uh... Egg! Egg, please! God damn it! What were we told pastry about putting her eggs in the inventory? Right, there we go, do that. And then there should be room for it now, that it's nice. Put that there, there, right. 
I didn't put the ammo in there. No, I didn't. Okay, so let's make some rifle ammo, shall we? And that also allows us to make some handgun ammo as well while we're at it. Nice. Obviously, we've also got all the mixed herb stuff, which I'm going to avoid for the most part. Um, because I'm just going to probably make it in my inventory instead. Which I do appreciate that they give you the option to actually craft it as well, but I'm not going to do it that way, I don't think. Um, okay, uh, let's put this down there. And we only take this, so that can go there, that can go there. We've got the egg still, we're going to keep it. Uh, lucky, our lucky egg, I'll call it. Oh, got all our grenades ready to go. Nice. Okay, uh, nice. Uh, we have also can make treasure, I'm pretty sure, so let's do that as well while we're here. Let's grab this, inlay the diamonds. We could put, we could put uh, another emerald into it. I think the sapphire ones are better. So what we could do is inlay, sapphire into, inlay two sapphires into it. And now I'll increase the amount of, yeah, jewelry bonus. Okay, there we go. So we can do that. And then sell this. We'll get a lot of money for it. No. Although, here's the thing. Because, obviously, it's a jewelry bonus, it's going to increase. I know, you're a merchant after all. The um the flagon thing, I could wait until I get two diamonds and then I'll probably get a better deal out of it because only two slots instead of finding three diamonds on the third slot thing. But uh, I'm just gonna do this. I'd rather have the money. Well and now I can buy something else. Oh my god, we can make this even more powerful. Uh let's not do that. Let's in increase the reload on the rifle. And then reload on a shotgun. Kind of work is about finesse, I tend not to buy um, ammo capacity on shotguns and rifles because if I just go for reload speed, there won't be a problem. And there's also only one increase. You talk a lot, Mr. Merchant. I do appreciate it, but I'm also trying to talk to chat, so I need you to stop. Um, yeah, so I don't I don't tend to go for ammo capacity with the shotgun or the rifle because it gives you like one or two extra slots when you could just put it into reload speed and just get your entire slots back a lot quicker. That's always how I've done it in these sorts of games. And with the Punisher, I do tend to go for ammo capacity because it's quite a lot of a, dif of a difference, actually. And, oh, we got a little chest here. Hexagon piece. Hexagon piece A. I don't know what this is. Huh. Shooting range. Oh, well, shit. Oh, Lord. Wait, what is this? You've got like an elevator here. When did you build this? Why is it here? Did, how much money does this merchant have to... Yeah. You can use three silver or gold tokens in the token machine to win a random charm. The more gold tokens you use, the greater your chances of getting a rare charm. I guess. Is this your father? Old, old father, old uh, merchant senior. No, I don't want this. It. Ah, the strider pirates and shoot for the high score. Weapons and ammo are unlimited and it's all free. Earn tokens based on your score for chance to be win magnificent prizes. Prizes. Exchange your tokens for charms and a token machine. They're full of treasure that can be found nowhere else. Tips and tricks. You can destroy several targets at once by shooting nearby dynamite to set off an explosion. Be careful! Shooting a sailor will deduct points from your score. Some targets can't be destroyed at one shot. Destroy as many, sh shoot as many shots as it takes until they break. If certain conditions are met, bonus targets will be added. However, these conditions will change from game to game. Okay. Cool story. Well, let's give this a shot then, I guess. Uh, pun entirely dependent.
Well, I can only use one weapon in both of these, and this I guess I can, but yeah, okay. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh my god, the music here is amazing. Okay, yeah, I'm doing it. Oh, this is really cool. Okay, it's like the, it's like uh, the one in. I'm sorry. Why is the music so good here? <laughs> I reload. Oh, okay, it destroys the entire arena. Dynamite! <laughs> I'll come in, Morbo. Okay, well, there you go. 1A. We didn't get any of the headshots. So it might be worth doing that again. Thank you. I'm going to do it again. Thank you. Uh oh, <laughs> let's we try that, shall we? <laughs> I'm gonna get this. This is very important to me that I win this. <laughs> I suppose this will get easier the better my weapon is. Nice. Jesus has had a lot of up through, doesn't it? <laughs> Bonus time? What is happening? <laughs> this is so cool! A minute. <laughs> okay, that was incredible. You put a lot of work into this, Mr. Merchant. I'm very impressed. Oh my god, look at him. It's a chibi merchant with his uh, little scoreboard and how it works. Fun, fan, fucking tastic. Okay, right, let's do that again, shall we? So, if anyone remembers a little game called Evil Within and Evil Within 2, they actually have a shooting range similar to this. I think specifically Evil Within 2 has one. And it's a direct reference to the one in Resident Evil 4 original. So kind of seeing them just redoing that here as well is just cool as hell. This is my first time using the rifle too. So i got to get used to this. Okay. Thank you. I didn't shoot him in his crotch. Shit. I, it, okay, it said, oh, I can actually reload the entire thing. Okay, I didn't know if I could. Oh, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Thanks for the bits, Morbo. I appreciate it. Nice, that's a good shot. Oh, that's a bad miss! I didn't see him go so fast. I'm gonna give that another shot. Uh, again, pun entirely um, intended. Boom! Hit. I shoot in this clutch. In his head. Shot. Yep, Leon, come on. He's like, he always prepares the ammo. He's like, you don't need to do it, buddy. Very 
How come? I didn't even see the uh, the clock shot there. Shit. Oh, that one at the end is really hard to hit. That might be an S rank. No, okay. Are we give it a best shot? I don't want to do it too many times. At least 5,000 points. I'm gonna give it one more shot. <laughs> Oh, what? Thank you. Try another. Nice shot. Beautiful. Amazing. Well done. That's even worse. Oh, it's better than last time. Okay, never mind. Mm, throw a gun. <laughs> okay, this will actually be the last attempt. Let's go. I'm addicted. This is like my gambling. You're an artist, mate. Ah, oh, shit. We got it. I can wait until they go in the middle and get more points for it. Well, that, that's not good, is it? Okay, so you got to wait until they go into the middle before you can actually get points. Okay. Okay. Right. You can't double kill these two, though. Maybe you can if you move yourself a little bit. I don't know if you can do that, though. Also wondering if you can get a double shot from the bow guy, like in the middle here. I guess we'll see. Nice. Nice. Can't never get that last one. Fuck. I think that was four. No, I got it. Yeah. <laughs> Just about. Nice. Thank you. Anyway, last one. Oh, we got both pistol and rifle here. Okay, right. If I just shoot a sailor, I'm pretty sure that's just, just game over. One! Oh, he had a, he had a clock shot on him! Shit. I didn't miss, I, I shot the wrong thing. Shit. Okay, again. So we go until we get to the back, back row and then we switch to rifle. Okay, right. One. It's very impressive how I can miss all those shots. That is very impressive. Bad. The Punisher has a lot of um, to it, which makes it very difficult to use. Two, one, begin. Good start. I would say I got that, but okay. No. 
No! He's doing a paper Mario. Investment in evil. The dangers of gambling addiction. Yeah, 100%. I'm too addicted to this fucking game. Not only the shooting game, but the actual game too. No. Thank you. Oh, they give you a lot of time for that. Okay, I could definitely have reloaded the rifle as well there. You really want to keep playing Call of the Lamb? It was a very cool looking game, to be fair. This fuck. Oh, God. Uh, 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 uh. Oh my god! How am I doing this? I like went into fucking... I don't know what happened to me there. I went until it goes back in the middle. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I went into like fucking Neo mode at the end there. Like fucking double shotting and going piercing through multiple different chests. That was great! I was like, do I go? Do I use the pistol there or do I use the rifle? That was some yeah, that was fucking hell. That wasn't even me doing that. I think that was someone else. Oh, hey Maelstrom. Welcome to the recording. You, you came in and you did this for me. Thank you, Mel. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, Cold Cat Lamb looked like a really cool game. I wanted to I had did actually play it a little bit ago with a friend of mine, but we ended up stopping because I just didn't fall off it. I just stopped playing and I never came back to it. But yeah, it was a really cool game when I, when I did play it though. I'm speechless. Thank you. I'm speechless too. That, that wasn't even me at the end there. I don't know who that was. <laughs> I await your return. You know what? Let's put all three in and see what we get. What is this? <gasps> I got a Luis Sarah and it's rare. 20% weapon resale value. That was Floor re Revengery. Yeah, Revengery, exactly. It was Floor Wick. John Revery. Aiden, I got trash. I got trash in my uh, pistol. And then what's this going to be? <clears throat> oh, we got a soldier with hammer. We haven't actually encountered those enemies yet. So that's a little bit of a spoiler game. Oh, we don't have enough. Okay, we'll have to do it again later on. But that was fun. I enjoyed the little shooting range. I might have gone a little bit carried away, and I apologise, chat, but that was... I don't know what it is about shooting ranges in video games. I just love doing them. <laughs> right, um... Right, so we've got two first aid spades. I'm not going to use that because I'm saving it. We could use an egg to heal ourselves. Yeah, egg. We ate the egg. Okay, also, let's actually save this time, shall we? Um, I'll equip the Lu Luis. Oh, you put it on your suitcase. I can have a gold. I mean, yeah, fuck it. I'm gonna have the gold suitcase. <laughs> equip right, and then we'll equip the the. Her I want to equip the herb in the middle. Oh, so it actually um gives you benefits as well. That's cool. I mean, I I like that. I'll, I'll I won't use the. Okay, hold on. I won't use the herb because that is a thing that came with the. With the, with the deluxe edition, I don't want to make my game that easy. So I'll just use the ones I got. That actually makes it... Oh, that, that's really cool. So that makes it so that doing shooting stuff actually has a benefit. Why not treat yourself? I already did treat myself, mate. I just did it there. Do you not see? Okay, let's see what's down here. 
No, but um, I ha I saw in uh, the bot schedules that Pastry's also going to be playing this game this week, and I'm I'm very curious to see what she thinks because I know she has a very uh, interesting uh, a very interesting uh, review of Resident Evil 8, uh, which is very different to mine, in fact. And I'm curious to see what she'll think of old RE4, considering I don't think she likes this game as much either, considering it was kind of the complete change to Resident Evil, and I can understand that. It's a very different game to the previous ones, and I would say it definitely starts to downfall of Resident Evil, even though this one is a great little game. I say little, this was like one of the most expensive games that came out in 2004, so... <laughs> I don't know about that. It's interesting to me how so so far well done this game is. I'm curious to see what happens with um, Capcom going forward because obviously they've kind of just remade all the games that needed to be remade. I wouldn't even say this game needed to be remade, but I'm glad they did now <laughs> because this is awesome. Uh, I'm curious to see if they go for Resident Evil 5 or maybe... Maybe we could get a little bit of Resident Evil Code Veronica as a remake. Because that game is wonderful. Oh shit. It's Castlevania. Oh. Oh, we can have a look over there. Okay. Oh no, we're having a look over here. Okay. Uh, let's look at the barn first. Looks like there's something over there. Hmm. That'd be, yeah, th there is indeed, Leon. Congratulations. You can look at a lake. Well, we're going to watch them. Dump out the police body from the village, I guess. Yeah, because it wasn't there when we came back, was it? It got it got moved. Oh well, there it goes. I, I am extremely interested to in seeing how they're doing this fight. There it goes. We're gonna see a giant creature. Oh yeah. Oh. There he is. This is why this fitness why this is why this episode is called Fishing the Big One. Chat. Oh, speaking of the big one. Look at this Oh Why did they let you zoom into it? <laughs> you know what they could have done here? They could have gone rid of the mountain and they could have like replaced it with something else. Like have like a tree canopy or something. Have more trees on this. Because I should not be able to zoom into this and have a look. That that that, that does not look great. Oh no. Oh, Oh, let's have a look at the nice castle, shall we? Damn, look at the size of that. Hmm, it's a big castle. Maybe we'll be there at some point. They're like prepping me for this. Wait, there are like barrels on here. Are we gonna get items in the water? So we're making our way down there. There is a, a dock. Oh, wait. No, that isn't where we started, was it? I don't think it was. Wait, wait. Let's head down there, shall we? No, it isn't. I mean, it, yeah, it is actually. It's the same lake. So I, I guess because you know players who have not played this game before, they may go up to the lake and shoot it anyway. So I guess they didn't want to make it so that you could accidentally trigger the the creature appearing. It makes sense why they ch maybe changed that or made it so that the creature wouldn't appear. So I think when we set during the first stream and we were like, wait, why isn't he here? I think he is, but he didn't appear that early on. I think if I return there, we'll get the benefit. The boat fuel is stored. with the same guy. The boat fuel is stored with the generator fuel inside the processing building at the fish farm. Take only what you need. I mean, I'll do what I want, for sure. Let's head over here. So I need to get fish. Hip oh. I don't know where we are. This is the. No, it isn't. This is different. This is a new map. Okay, new map. A new map. New map. Just in. Oh. Oh shit. They didn't hear me, did they? I think we're fine, Leon. We might be in trouble. I can go inside your head. Hmm. <gasps> I am the definition of stealth. I am a bush. I am a bush. Leon, you are a bush. You don't hear shit. You don't hear shit. 
Don't do shit. We'll hold the grenade in case he comes around the corner. Oh, it's... Oh, must resist urge to shoot fish. Must resist urge to... Oh, shit! It sounds like there's like four enemies over there. Or four villagers. I will just be careful. I mean, I don't know why I'm stealthing. I don't really want to stealth anyway. I need to kill that fish. Is he just going to stay there? I don't know if I can sneak up to him in knee high water. Or her in knee high water. We'll give it a shot. If it doesn't work, we'll just fuck it. This is not good. This is not going to work. This is not real. This is fiction. Made up. Oh my god, it worked. We actually did something. We actually did stealth. That. Oh, it was a snake. Okay, it was good I, I stabbed it there then. Because if it was a fish. If it wasn't a snake, I would have... You know, it would have been really bad if I didn't stab it there, I think. Stealthy, stealthy, stealth. Woo! Hello? I'm just a humble flower! I don't think that I can stealth this. I don't really want to stealth it, to be fair. <laughs> oh, hey, how's it going? I feel that it's a Monday morning or Monday evening. Well, it takes us one guy. That wasn't the sound of one of them hearing me, was it? No, 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 we're good. This might be the only time in the game I actually attempt stealth. So, enjoy it while it lasts. <laughs> oh, I hear him. I hear the big boy. I don't think he went this way. There's a ladder here. This is just going to take me back to where I started, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to take me back to where I first fell off the bridge. Well, yeah, I didn't go up at all, did I? I went, I went to her right instead. Okay, right, well, the, that was a good stealth trip. Now we're going to go in there as a completely different person, I think. And just blow them all up. So, oh, you know what we could do? Yes. I hope they're ready. All right. All right. That's number one. Oh, they not hear me? No, that that guy will not die in one hit. I should go for someone else. Uh, I can't see anyone else from this vantage point though. I think they purposely hid them so you can't just shoot them from here. Saying that, I could try and stealth a little bit further in. I don't think that actually alerted them, killing that guy. Somehow. You know, a giant rifle shot, not even suppressed. Didn't alert them. What we could do. We can go down here. And just not... I mean, we can still stealth our way around here because we can crouch. Uh, ooh. Ooh, that's not good. Right, well, grenade time. If, when a rifle doesn't work, explosives are the best second bet. Turn around. What was that? Wait, doesn't that actually know it was me? Oh, that works out entirely in my favour. Are you kidding me? 
Oh. Oh, I don't like what has happened to his head. Oh. Oh, okay, now he's coming over here. Okay, uh, I got another grenade with your name on it, buddy. Hello. Uh oh. And we're done. Nice. Right, they don't hear anything. That was all entirely stealth. Oh, it really wasn't, was it? Hello. Boom. Oh, I didn't hit you, did it? No. Ow. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not how you count, Leon. You've killed a lot of enemies here already. <laughs> that happened before. I thought he was talking about the... The data. Oh, no. I don't like that. That, like, stays around after they die, too. Hmm. I mean, that's just terrifying. We haven't actually encountered any, like, parasites yet. Well, we we kind of have with the guys with their heads, like, on the side, but... Those weren't, like, proper parasites. They were just reanimated corpses. To be fair, they all kind of are. Well, I don't think we're done here. That wasn't enough enemies, in my opinion. Right, we got a bit of more rifle ammo as well, so we can have a little bit more play around with that, I think. I like being tactical about this. Like, and in a lot of Resident Evil games, you couldn't really be tactical. Like, I mean, you kind of could with Resident Evil 1 and 2. Like, work out what enemies are going to be in what halls and kind of prepare in that regard. But in this, there's like an actual, a little bit of formula you need to follow. And using your weapons and trying to kill them in the best and most effective ways. Like, it's really cool. I like it. I think that's what I do like about Resident Evil 4 over the others. There's a sense of puzzle, puzzling with the shooting compared to 1, 2, and 3, where the shooting was there, but it wasn't really, you know, strategic. There wasn't a lot of elements to it. Most of the time, it was just aim your gun and shoot. Uh, in this, it's... Well, you couldn't even aim your gun, really. It was tank controls. This is it's more about, like, working out where the enemies are coming from, what weapons you have, reloading... It is kind of survival horror, but in a different sense of the word. You get a lot of ammo, you get a lot of stuff, so the horror isn't really there in being careful with resource management. But it's more so based around the idea that you have the weapons you need, but how are you going to get through this? How are you going to strategize with your weapons and use them in different circumstances? Um, what? What the fuck? I didn't know we'd get reinforcements. I didn't hear any bell go off. All right. Ah. Nice shot, buddy. I'll be fair, I also missed. Yeah, I guess they come back. Oh, well, that's the case. I'll, I'll better like go through this a little bit faster then. I don't have an, I don't have that much ammo. Like like, I call this like you get enough resources to deal with stuff. You do, but that's if you p be play careful. If you just spam your resources and just don't worry about it, you are gonna run out eventually. The way this game does it is you have to be careful about it, but also you get enough where it feels comfortable. I don't know about hardcore mode. That might be a little bit different. No torch for you. Nice. Oh, you're about to become a bad thing too, weren't you? <laughs> Hello? That was a little bit easy, actually. Right, let's go get an item, shall we? Let us pin the water. Ooh, hello! There we go. 
I don't know how Immobo, if you're still there, I don't know how you feel about water snakes. Because I'm not the biggest fan of snakes. I mean, I actually do quite like snakes. But I'm not the biggest fan of water snakes. Like, on surface water stuff. Like, surface spiders, I'm not the biggest fan of. Don't point at me, that's rude. How dare you? I'm not going to stand for that. I disarmed a little trap. We've got another bow here. I really should stop using my gun, my knife for that, because that, that does use your, your ability. Oh, hello. Shit. You know what? I'm not going to waste my rifle ammo. It's more expensive than the other ammo will ever be. <laughs> oh! What about water spiders? Uh, what about second breakfast? Uh, no, I don't like water spiders. Surprisingly enough, when you combine spiders with an ability to cross water at extreme speeds, I'm not the biggest fan of that. Yeah, I don't like spiders anyway, so just giving them that ability makes them even worse in my opinion. Wasn't there a bush around here somewhere? Not a bush. Um, there was like um, a nest which had a treasure in it and I shot it a while ago, but I don't remember where it was. I guess I picked it up somewhere. Uh, okay. No, but I hope everyone in chat is having a good Monday. I literally spent the entire morning doing cataloging, which is fine. It's not the worst job in the world. It's definitely what I signed, not what I signed up for <laughs> as a researcher. But, you know, cataloging is something you do have to do with that kind of job because data needs to be inputted. So you sometimes have to spend your time doing that. And you can't really hire people to do it because it's a pretty simple job and that would just be a, a waste of money hiring someone to do it when you just get your actual people in the office to do it for you. Not, not even that difficult. You just input it from the Excel sheet and yeah. Mm. So I spent the whole morning in that and a lot of the afternoon doing that, which is fine because I'm not complaining necessarily about the job. It's more so just a little bit boring. Um, I get a chance to have a video on in the background, which I don't really get to do when it comes to research. So I was able to watch more of a stream this morning, uh, but not a whole lot else because, yeah, it's a fun time. I definitely feel better off in my job place than I did a few years ago where when you get introduced into the work scene as a new researcher, uh, you don't really get to do a whole lot of your own research because one, it's unaffordable equipment that you're using. So you're, you're using that equipment, it costs a lot. So they don't really trust you as well. You've got to kind of garner trust a lot. It's a weird thing because... Obviously, I could go, I could go off on my own and do my own stuff, but that would require money, and that would also require investment, which I'm not good at. So yeah, I, it took a few years, but I do finally feel a little bit more comfortable in my workplace, and I'm able to actually do my own stuff, which is quite cool. And obviously, doing more stuff. I mean, it's like like any form of work, isn't it? You, you garner more trust in the community and you get pay rises and additional benefits. I know that isn't the case of all jobs in the world and it's unfortunate that it isn't like that. My heart goes out to the people who don't have it as good as me and um, others. But yeah. Um, I don't know why I started talking about this. <laughs> we were having a time doing Resident Evil 4 and I was like, let's talk about real life for a second and how shit he is. Where? Okay, there's apparently a medallion over there. But I don't know. I guess it's on the tower. Also, I think I killed everyone here. Can 
I get from there from below? No, I'd have to go from above. Okay. The true horror experience. No, 100%. Real life is way more scared than any horror game can be. Which is why I think when it comes to horror, like, it's actually quite an enjoyable watch. Like, obviously, I prefer horror that isn't trying to emulate. I mean, actually, no, that's not true. I do like when horror tries to emulate real life and talks about some subject matter that is really, really it should. Um, but I think that's why we resonate so much with horror as a idea because it kind of just highlights some of the problems that the world has. <laughs> More so than the action movies or other stuff. Apparently that uh, crow had a shotgun. Or no, oh, gunpowder, ammo. I thought that steak was going for the for the uh, red tank, and I was like, no! <laughs> if I'm going to die, you're going to die with me. Hello? I do think Resident Evil 4 isn't as scary as the others, but that isn't a problem because I don't really associate Resident Evil with being scary. Which is a weird thing saying that because, but Flower, it's a horror game. Doesn't that mean it has to be scary? Yes, but horror doesn't mean it needs to have jump scares or tension every five seconds. Horror can be campy. It can be stupid. I mean, Halloween is horror centric because... You know, kids go out pumpkins and everyone wears costumes and it's really goofy and stuff. Are you saying the 15th Fast and Furious movie isn't providing proper social commentary? Is there a 15th one? How, how many are they on now? Because I I heard like a few weeks ago that they were apparently on 10. It's like, this is what I'm talking we lost Dark Crystal or Age of Resistance for this. <laughs> we lost some of the best Netflix shows because... Other shows got to the proliferate. I mean, to be fair, that is, like, basically owned by Vin Diesel at this point, and they just make movies because it's fun. <laughs> Which I don't mind. Like, we can make movies and just be fun, but when it's trying to relay a certain message, and that message is not good, I don't really fancy that sort of thing. Like, I am all for selective messaging in movies. I love Breaking Bad. And I love um, Better Call Saul. But, I don't know, sometimes it's better just to have fun. Like that new D&D movie coming out. I think that's going to be a fun time. It isn't trying to be anything. It's just tr trying to be cool and interesting. I lost track somewhere around the fifth movie. I didn't. I, I lost track around the first movie. <laughs> I didn't, actually, I think I watched the seventh one and it was really stupid. I saw the first two then pulled a gun out of my mouth. Yeah. Because wasn't it originally about racing, and then it became, like, action slock? And I remember the Vok was in it at some point. I'm going to do something stupid. Let me do something stupid game. Eat! <laughs> well, I mean, there's only one way up here, so good luck. I'll, I'll meet you all up. Go on, you guys get here. Take your time. Oh, shit. They also have spin-offs to the franchise, like that one with Idris Elba as a goddamn cyborg villain! We should really watch because Idris Elba makes it a pretty, pretty damn great movie. I like Idris Elba. I mean, yeah, I'd just watch it for him. I'm pretty sure that's the idea, isn't it? Oh, no. Old Grandpa, he had a bad time. Oh, look at that. Wait, hold on. Don't laugh, Leon. Jesus. Oh. Oh. 
Hi. <laughs> wow, what did he do to your body? Flower, I can't believe you're being rude to him after he's dead. These poor people, they suffered terrible things. Rest in peace. Um... Right, let's continue, shall we? So I discovered that horror actually has kind of a new genre. Uh, well, a new subgenre, anyway. Because uh, I like to parouse the internet sometimes and have a little... I do a little bit of interneting sometimes, chat. And I found that there's like kind of like a new kind of prevailing form of horror um, called uh, elevated horror. Basically, it's when a horror is aimed around subjective messaging and imagery and symbolism rather than jump scares and tension. And that sounds really cool, actually. I do like those sorts of movies. Saying that, though, I do love a good schlocky horror movie. They're some of my favourite types of movies. They're so entertaining. Like, I think, uh, Morbo, we watched Wishmaster, didn't we? And that was great. <laughs> No, don't fall off, Leon. There you go, have that. Make your wish, Leon Kennedy. What do you think Leon would wish for, chat? I think he'd just wish for, you know, therapy, maybe. Because I love the fact that after Resident Evil 2, Leon was like, I want more of that. <laughs> I want to be put into another dangerous situation. That sounds like someone came over a long term for something that has always existed. No, yeah. I think it's an it's a new term, but it's basically just trying to label something that's existed for a really long time. Because like you could say like the alien movies are kind of elevated horror in some or at least the first one is. Um examples Fuck. I I I had a list of it. Never look. Let me see what new movies have come out, which are kind of elevated horror. Uh, mainly A24 movies. So, like, It Follows. Well, I really liked it. It Follows, Get Out, Midsummer, The Babadook. The Witch is fucking a great movie. And that label, that goes into Lighthouse, which is one of my favourite horror movies that's come out in, like, the last decade. But, Flower, you've only been alive a decade. I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, we missed a chest all the way back over there. Good job, Blah. Good job, Nehru. Um. Yeah. I think that I love a good horror movie, and a lot of the good ones came out last year. Like um. Scream had a comeback net last year, and then the sixth one came out this one this year, or well, I think it came out recently. Uh, that's made by the same people who made Ready or Not, which is another great movie, because obviously uh, Wes Craven died um, before they could make a fifth movie, so they had a whole new team in for that, and I was surprised by how good it was in the end, considering um, remakes and what are they called Legacy. Legacy remakes, where it's a remake, uh, which is kind of for the first movie. Uh, no, a sequel to the first movie, but kind of counts as a remake as well. Uh, there's, a, there's a term for it as well. What is that? Okay, I'm gonna have a little look. Term for sequel to first movie, uh, movie, but also a remake. Uh, no, it's not a requel. I guess it is a recall, right? But even that movie itself kind of leans into the whole idea of it being a remake, but also a sequel. Because don't you love horror franchises that go on too long? At least, at least I can give us an evil credit because it's still tr pumping out some good stuff, despite being a little bit... Um, Slocky in some, I mean, very slocky in some slot, uh, spots. I'm being very kind to it right now, but yeah, Resident Evil has had its down spots as well as high spots. It just amazes me that Capcom has like 
elevated Resident Evil so much. Like, obviously, this is one of their big franchises, but they've just fully embraced it and are like, we're, we're going to make Resident Evil basically our main franchise. Like, I think it, it generally is, too, because I, I can't think of any other Capcom game that's had this amount of love or, or series that, uh, compared to this. Like, maybe Street Fighter or... No, not Street Fighter, definitely not Street Fighter. Uh, Devil May Cry, maybe? But, like, that hasn't had a, any content in about a few years. So, I don't know. Yeah, Street Fighter 6. Yeah, that is coming out, isn't it? I don't uh, know too much about it, but apparently people are looking forward to it. So, good on them. I'm not the biggest... Uh... Street Fighter fan, so I can't really say anything. Oh, we're full on inventory. <laughs> we have <laughs> look at all these boys look at all these good boob noodles they're all here everyone is here you know why we have a lot of stuff because i didn't do like i didn't i like didn't do any fighting in that last area so we have so many items now capcom announced a pro tour for it when it gets one million dollars see that's how you do it capcom knows like, Jesus Christ, imagine Capcom like 10 years ago doing this. It just shocks me how much they've changed since then. But I can't make... Oh, because I don't... Oh, uh... I guess I could make more rifle ammo. Yeah, fuck it. That will at least give me more space. I too like to keep six snakes in my suitcase. <laughs> okay, when you take them all out for a second, because I need to, I need to sort it out. Um, we need to give them each a name. I'm gonna call this one Ebony. I'm gonna call this one Indiana. Uh, Doris, Margaret, Huey, and Alex. There we go. Uh, egg. Oh, we don't need this egg, so don't tell pastry. Okay, we've got our arsenal ready. If anyone tries to kill us, we'll just throw a snake at them. That does not look a nice little inventory. Wait, auto sort? No! <laughs> you fuck! I mean, it was all so nice! No! <laughs> Bullshit! Oh, okay, give me a sec. I thought that would, like, I don't know. I don't know why I was thinking, to be honest, pressing that. I could, like, actually thought about it for a minute before trying that. <laughs> no. Right, so that was at the top. Let's take the ammo out as well. The fifth out as well. Bring the knife over here. And then we'll put our ways. So we'll put that there. No, there, there, there. 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 Put that there. Put that there. Okay. This doesn't look even any better. Okay, I need I need to fix this. <laughs> My inventory. It was so nice before. Okay, we're almost back to where we were before. And we're sorted. There we go. We got some we got some snakes. And we're ready to get continue this. Oh, what's in here? Kitchen knife? Oh, why did I even pick that up? I don't need it. <laughs> God damn it. I don't need the kitchen knife. Uh, not required. 
Uh, apparently there's a medallion around here. You know what else is here? There's the, there's the lake. Oh, but I need to test it. But if I die, then... Okay, hold on. Now, here's the thing. In Resident Evil 4 Original, you can go onto the lake and you can shoot it. And the giant creature will eat you. Now, obviously that will mean I will lose progress. So I'm going to go back to the save point and save. And I can also go sell the snakes to the merchant as well while I'm here. This is going to be quite beneficial to us. Um, but hey, merchant, I got some snakes for you. Ah, uh, what you're selling? What six snakes? Welcome. What can I interest you? In? Uh, what can I interest you in? Do you mean? Do you... I'll buy almost anything. Oh, just to say, how about six snakes? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, spinals as well. Nice. Which means we can buy this. Buy that. And then we can go over here. And go to this and inlay that in the middle. And then if I inlay these, I guess I'll also get benefits from this too. 21,000. That's not as much as I had before, I will say. But cool. Okay. I now have access to that if I wanted to. Um, okay, so we're also increasing that capacity as well. Wait, you just, you just having to get myself killed? I think he's not. <laughs> right, we can we can tune up some of our weapons as well. I want to make the durability on this better. See how that feels. There we go. Yeah! I think that's a line from the original game as well. Uh, I'm gonna save. I'm gonna hold off. So, uh, also save. I keep forgetting to do that. I don't know why the game makes it very clear I should shave. Uh, shave. I should save whenever I want to. Why not treat yourself, mate? Oh, I am. I'm about to treat myself uh, to death. Right. So. I'm about to go and go where no flower has gone before. Uh, heaven. <laughs> Assuming that this works. I mean, this is like a iconic scene from the original game, so I feel like it will. Right, let's shoot, shall we? There we go! <laughs> and there it is. Treat yourself to a shave, mate. <laughs> you, uh, you're looking a little bit airy, mate. I like to think that the merchant goes out. Well, where is he going then, eh? Let's have a look. Oh! Well, there he goes. There goes my best investment. I'll be right back because I'm getting a call, chat. Okay, I am back. I need to make that transition screen a little bit quieter, I think. <laughs> it should be a fairly easy thing to do, in theory. Right, so we died. Uh, previously, on Resident Evil 4, we died. And now we're going to not try not to die. Uh, I was just having a little chat uh, with the old family about trying to... Uh... Work out what time I want to have steak tomorrow, because I'm gonna be fairly busy uh, in the evening with my, with my whole theatre thing I'm going to. So I need to work out when I'm gonna go and do that. So yeah, that should be fun. This guy being here is founding a random accent in English, thanked by a purple torch trying to sell you stuff. Feels very random. Yeah, it's almost like it's destiny or something. Right, we got the fuel. This game does this a lot, where instead of taking you through all these areas, it's like you need to go to this one place, which is an old area, and you'll get the stuff you'll need to continue forward. I like it, um, but it's very different. Okay, here we go. Oh my god, there's harpoons in here. <laughs> no! It's going to be the exact same boss fight, isn't it? I'm scared, but also excited. 
I also need to turn the game down a little bit. That's a cool shot. Well, that, that went like 20 feet before it failed. I saw a monster out in the ocean, but I'm pretty sure I'll be fine. I mean, like... Oh. Come on, you can do it, Leon. This monster could take out the bow in two seconds if it wanted to. It's just playing with its food. Like, it could just jump up and eat the bow in one gulp. But it chooses not to. Oh! This is cool. Uh, and we're dead. Oh, no, we're not. Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay. Here we go. Die. Now, this boss is really stupid in the original game. So, are you going to continue it? Yes, they are. Oh, shit. I'm missing. So you can move left and right on the boat. It's just the same control as the original game. Oh! Ah, that's a big fish. I wonder what Morbo thinks of this. Oh, there's a remix of his theme. I hit. The water looks a little bit weird. I will say. Oh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Right. Dynamic audio makes this a lot easier. Think you can swallow me whole, huh? Oh, I think he can. Oh no! No! Don't destroy my boat! It's the only thing I care about. Uh he 100 percent can swallow you wholly on. I don't know why he hasn't even tried it yet. Old John. I think I think it's called the Delago. Yeah, D D Lago, as in giant fish. It's not very original. This lake is actually much smaller than the one in the original game, <laughs> which is kind of funny. There he is. Whack. Whack. Okay, where else is he gonna appear from? Where'd you go? Where'd he go? Oh, there. There! He came from behind! Oh! Not my boat! Oh god, can me help! Whoa! That's really cool, but also bad for me. Look at this giant guy. Oh, okay, we're doing big dog just now, are we? I can't hit you if you dodge well. The lago. That's like of the lake. Oh, well, that, that'll be it then. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think it's literally just lake monster or of the lake like you said, Fiber. Oh, go right. We done. Yay! We killed a giant fish. Oh, we, we killed a fish this big. Oh, wait. QT? No. Okay, they cut out the part where the creature like burns our leg because of the rope. Oh, that was dangerous. Oh. oh no. You can't have your like Resident Evil moment inside of this boat. Maybe the residence is actually inside of me the entire time. Is it the evil? Maybe that, uh, wait, I, I was just thinking about it now. Maybe the Resident Evil in Resident Evil 4 is the fact that we are infected. And therefore, re evil is resident inside of our own body. That's Busco. Right, we've also got end of chapter, which is nice. Defeat uh, Del Largo, yeah, Del Largo. I just about remembered his name. Oh, here we go, now we can have a look at this. So in chapter 2, we were 77.4% accurate. And we died once. I only died once here because I wanted to find out what would happen if I got eaten. But my accuracy is slowly increasing <laughs> as we go along. Very good. Jesus. I I'm t it's taking so long to play this game. I don't mind it though. The game is awesome.
Right, let's do this. And then we're going to customize our case a little bit. Uh... Wait, what? Oh, I guess we didn't combine the hub. Okay. Let's continue. <laughs> fucking Saddler. They've made him the most, like, cultish voice ever. Oh, look at this, look at this wand. It's so much slimier in this. Also, do you like action movies, Leon? Oh my lord! I like that we had that moment on the boat, where we could have easily fallen off. Jesus, look how big Leon's arms are. Chris Redfield and his boulder punching ways have a competition. Hmm. Is that boat filling up with water? Let's, let's get out of here, Leon. We've got a few barrels to destroy. Alright, you're gonna let me stay in the boat, aren't you? No! They don't let you know. I would like to go back on the boat. Oh. Condor one to roost. Do you read me? Condor one, you've been radio silent for three hours. Are you all right? No, I'm infected. Yeah, I'm fine. We'll but you are a terrible agent, Leon. You're not gonna tell Still them about this. Whatever key I need. Copy that. I'm glad you're okay. Roost out. So. Here's a thing about the voice actors in this game too. Um, apparently Leon's voice actor is a big fan of the series, so I can't I can't imagine how cool that is to play the, the main character in Resident Evil 4. And that's that's awesome. And there was a bunch of uh, videos back when RE2 Mate came out where some of the voice actors actually played that game, uh, which is awesome. I highly suggest it because it's just great to see the voice actors actually kind of. Enjoy the game as much as us. <gasps> Beef. Leon, you're a monster. Won't be going anywhere in this thing. Aww. That's not a disappointment, but I'm very sad we won't be able to go on the boat. Because like in the, in the original game, you can go out on a boat and you can go around the lake and it was really cool. And you can go to like a little area where the, where the uh, merchant is. Oh well. They've changed it a little bit. Which is fine. Oh. Ah, yes. I love me a, a torture chamber. Oh no, his hat. Can we wear it now and become police of Spain? I'll take that. Oh, I thought that was an uh, old saddler, but it's not. Bud hell. Oh yeah. Um, oh wait, there is a boat. <gasps> okay, I spoke too soon. We may actually still get to go on a boat. Oh, one hundred percent. Okay, never mind. Don't speak ill until there is actually something to be ill of. So if I remember correctly, in the original game, this is where we first see the new infected, or at least how far the infection can go. So this enemy that appears here... Oh, it's dark now. Oh. Okay. Oh. I can hear him, but I can't see him. This is very dark. Hello? See, this is good horror because we can hear the guy, but we don't know where he is. I wonder, I wonder if we can like translate what he's saying. Probably. There's probably like a video out there already that translates everything that they say in this game. Okay. Let's go over here and have a look, shall we? Yeah. Ooh, they got some more party skulls. We're preparing for Halloween, are we? Oh, I don't like this. Where are they? Oh, here we go. 
Oh shit! There it is. Right. So the best way to kill this thing is with um the rifle. There we go. So they get like giant octopus heads, and it's very cool. What the fuck? What the fuck? Ow! Dude, actually, that, I, I kind of wanted you to do that, to be fair, because I want to heal myself anyway, so I appreciate it. Oh, yeah, I had a feeling. I had a feeling. Nice. I think they're a little bit easier to kill than they are, than they are in the um, original, because I took a few rifle shots to shoot them there. Well, then again, I have powered up this rifle quite, quite a lot, so... Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna use one of these finally. And bring this over here. Bring that there. And let's continue on. Oh, we got a lovely little blood table. Gotta love the architecture they've got going on. This nice gothic, bloody, doom esque architecture. This game looks so much better at night, which is a an odd compliment that I can kind of give it. Because obviously, like, you'd want to be like, but flower, doesn't this game always look good? It does, but the mountains are not great, and you can tell that when they're shrouded by the darkness from above, that they're much more easy to look at. Because if I did this, and then zoomed into them completely, they still look fine, because you can barely see them. So I, I think that when it comes to horror games, and even the RV engine, it's still not perfect. There's things we can improve, but what they have done here with the darkness is wonderful. I think it's one of the reasons why I like RE7 so much, because the way they simulate the, the deep place? dark, it's wonderful. It's a cave, Leon. I know you haven't been to a lot of caves in your time, but it is a cave. Some kind of shrine. Oh, hands. Oh yeah, look at this. Same mark from the church. But a little bit different. Is this where it comes from? This is where they bought their faith about, maybe? Is this the key? Yeah. We don't use the insignias here, we need something else. Interesting. So I guess Saddler, obviously the power site is kinda of where their worship comes from a little bit. Maybe Sadler took the idea and inspiration from this and turned it into the actual cult that it became. This is an interesting twist on the actual cultish stuff. It's the lake. Yeah. It shows the Del Lago in it and also where the two skulls are, which I guess is what we need to solve that puzzle. So there's one south where we are currently, and there's also one to the north. Which I assume is where the merchant is. And again, they've expanded on this. Like before, it was just go back to the church. But here, we actually get to do a whole bunch of stuff. Oh. Old Way Shrine Key. You still not the wooden tray shrine scared through the village. I wanted to go back and get, the, get those done then. At some point, probably before we leave this place, and probably before we even go to the church, actually. Uh, someone fetch me a rare golden chicken egg. Will I do with it? Well, sometimes it's more fun not knowing, right? No, in this case, I do want to know what you're going to use it, use it for. Because I kind of want that. But then again, I would just sell it anyway, so. I guess who's the real victor here? Oh my lord, here we go. Yay! Da 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 da. Ba, ba, ba. Wait, hold on. We need actual music for this. Give me a sec. All right, audio. Google audio. Great C Wind Waker. Right. Uh, I'll do that. 
do this, Google, turn that down. Oh no, Leon, come on. <laughs> Alexandrite. <gasps> oh, my God, it's the red nine. Got some chicken eggs here. Look at all the birds! It's chicken permission time! Oh, I love these additions to this. This is great. Velvet blue. Right, so I'm not killing these chickens because I need a golden chicken egg from them, I guess. Oh, speaking of, there we go, we have it. The golden chicken egg. Wait, I, I need to test something out, but I only have one flash grenade. Can I make another one? How do I make flash grenades? Oh, they're not that hard, actually. Okay, hold on then. I, I need to know something, and this may involve killing all of them. So, here we go. That didn't do anything. Well, it's good to know, anyway, now that we can do that. Um, oh my god, we have the red nine. Fuck yes. If you don't know, the red nine is the best... Going in the game, in my opinion. I can't believe how early they give it to you in this. I think you get it in the castle when you first get there. So getting it this early, that is just Christmas, in my opinion. Uh, we'll head that back down there at some point, I think. We can also head over here and get some of this stuff as well. We can go do that. Uh, we could also just head back to this, but I don't know if there's anything in there we can do right now, to be fair. Let's, just, let's go up here and do this first, I think. I would assume this is where the merchant is. Or where one of his outposts is. Yeah, here it is. Yeah. <laughs> Still a bit hard to control the camera in the boat, but outside of that, it's not too difficult. I am kind of sad that I was only able to use the Punisher for, like, a little bit. So I am going to keep it for a little bit longer, and then I'm going to switch to the Red Nine, I think, later on. Um... Wait, the snake? I I bear not have fucked up selling all my snakes back there. That's all I'm going to say. Another snake. Another snake. Right. Okay. Oh. No, these are like all insignias. Okay. No good. No good. I was just, I was just getting um <laughs> turn the light on because it's getting a little bit dark now. Um, okay, so the mansion's no longer here. They've moved him, or it kind of makes sense it wouldn't be here. To be fair, oh shit, it's this puzzle. Okay. I mean, okay, we have that. We have the three lines down there, three squigglies. We have 
We have the Free Squigglies. A six and another Swiggly. And then like the 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 three sweet wrappers. <laughs> so we have another line. So we have a, a, a six and a Swiggly as well. So it's six Swiggly. Okay, so it's um that that and that. Okay, that puzzle was easy. <laughs> we did it though. And we got oh uh, we got blasphemous head. Oh they, get, they put actual blood in there. Disgusting. Oh thanks, I guess. <laughs> Oh, we got a hexagon piece. I don't know what these are going to be used for, but I'm glad I'm getting them. Right. And I'm missing. I'm missing two treasures, in fact. Yeah, they got a lot more treasures everywhere, so it's a little bit difficult, more difficult to work out what I actually need, uh, and if I'm going to miss it or not. Ah, it's one up there as well. You can hear like the lantern shaking, but for some reason that isn't registering in my brain. Like the the beeping is, and some of the enemy sounds do, but not the swing of the lanterns. I think it sounds too much like ambience for me. Right, so we are done there. Uh, next, we need to head. Probably over there. So, literally right across the lake from where we come out here. Come on! <laughs> That's really stupid. <laughs> uh, we're just going to crack into some barrels and we're going to get some money out of it. Oh, we get back there. Okay. Well, that was a locked treasure, but I think we can actually go unlock it now while we're here. Yeah, we can do, go do a bunch of stuff. Ow. There we go. Get out. Starting to rain as well. Some good ambience overall in this game now, I will say. Oh. Oh no. I just completely ignored this, I guess, when I came here last time. Oh no. It's one of these sorts of puzzles. Okay. Oh, this is going to take a while, isn't it? <laughs> oh, no. Okay, so that goes at the bottom. And then... Yay! Okay, I got it. <laughs> that didn't take as long as I thought it would. Depraved idol? That's how I feel after that. Depraved. Um... Yeah, we'll be back there at some point, I think.
Because we're going to go fight the boss now, I'd assume. Look at the fifth. Right. Head back the way we came then, past the merchant. And towards what I'd assume to be the well area. Uh, oh, I, I see the barrel. Destroy! So we have a locked drawer in there which will require. Oh, wait, don't we have the thing for that? We have the simple key, right? Simple key for simple people like me. No. I think I needed like another, like one of those disposable keys. I don't think you can just get them outright. We're going to try and find some of them and then come back here when we have it. I'd assume the game would give me enough for all of them, but I don't know. No treasure chest left behind in my opinion. I don't know what time it is. Oh yeah, we're getting close. I wouldn't say we're getting close to the end of the recording, but... Yeah, we're getting close to where I would want to wrap it up. Which is strange because I wanted to find Ashy this stream. I don't think we are. <laughs> it's been three recording sessions and we're nearly six hours in and I haven't encountered Ashley. This is a very long game. Yeah, we can't get that way. Ooh. Okay, well, it's time for stealth. Time for the old. You didn't hear shit. Okay, it's good we stealthily hit those barrels, isn't it, Leon? Car. I could have put the gun away. Stealthy, 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 stealthy. No, 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 no. Shit. Oh, fuck it. I don't care about stealth anyway. I wasn't going to stop aiming at him until he showed me his uh, dynamite. Oh, that'll be taken out of context. Oh, you're going to become bad. Yeah, I was about to say. He was standing there for way too long to not become bad. Nice. Oh, we got more. I'm not going to waste the, the shotgun despite not, not having used it for a while because I want to save it for like the boss probably if we encounter one. Die! Hit! I'd have that. Ow! You're on fire dude! G give up! Oh. Uh, yep. <laughs> Leon! Please! Oh! Who can play at that game? There you go. You're gonna throw Molotovs at me, I'm gonna throw Molotovs at you. Although mine are a little bit more explosive. Hmm. We're gonna have some barbecued villager for tea tonight. Because we're British, we say the word tea and not dinner. Oh wow, look at these. Hmm. That's a nice little touch. We'll say the actual text is on that do not look the best, but I don't really mind but considering, you know. That missed me entirely. Oh, it's not, not locked, it's just why well, it is locked, but it's not lo locked a little bit differently. Right. <laughs> I walked into that! God damn it! No. I'm making great use out of the sniper here. <laughs> I like using it to be fair. It's a fun weapon. Hello? This is a new section by the way, this wasn't in the original game. Oh. <laughs> bye bye! Did he try and throw a Molotov at me? Oh, you have dynamite, don't you? Yeah, you do. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, good, we're good. 
Uh, there's a guy behind me too. Oh, oh there's a bad thing there. Okay, I'm not messing around anymore. Oh, you're not also one, are you? Oh, you are one. No, 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 you gave up good. Right. right. Careful. Shit. So there is an easy way to kill those guys without worrying too much about shooting it. Uh, if you didn't know how this works in the original game, I'm assuming it's the same here because of how, how flash works. Uh, the parasites die instantly before a flash grenade. So as long as there are multiple... If there are multiple parasites and you don't feel like you can take them out, just throw a flash grenade and it will kill them both. It's a nice little touch. In my opinion. Oh no. Okay. We got some puzzles here, I see. So we've got. Uh. B booba? <laughs> That's what it looks like, I'm sorry. Boobalia. Um, what else do we have? We have an enemy. No. Ah! I didn't even do that. You guys did that to him. Ow! Ow! Oh. Right, that's it. No, what are we doing? Is it because I was on fire? Right, have a present for me. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. It's not like I wanted to do it. Oh! You were alive! Oh, because of that. Okay, right. Sometimes when an enemy doesn't die and you think they should, it's because they have parasite. Like they have a lot more health than a regular enemy does anyway. Which is a nice little touch because you can kind of prepare that way if you know they're not dying in the usual amount of shots. Um. Okay, so you can go under here. That that's neat. I don't know why you can go under there, outside of it being cool. Um. We've got Bubalia. That's number one. We've got two more symbols to find. Okay, we got like... <laughs> two hammocks? As I say, the outside of a shell. Okay, and then finally we got one here. Which is Eganate. Okay, Eganate. So... Eganate. The outside of a shell. And then Bubalia. That's not Bubalia. I don't like that rope noise, whatever it is. Oh, it's this, okay. Yeah, give me your head. I know you're gonna like start bleeding afterwards now, so. Yeah. Maybe it's just tech ketchup. Maybe it isn't anything actually bad. Hello? Oh, there's one. It is nice just to be able to get them without worrying too much about um, actually looking for them. Uh, I'm going to make an executive assistant decision here and just leave. I don't need to fight these guys. I'm just going to go. Bye. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm very good. I don't know if you guys can even hit me on a boat. I can make a U turn. What is this? Oh. But somewhere else. Oh, yeah, this is different. <laughs> Leon, you okay? Do you, you actually need to be healed? No, you're fine. Stop being a baby. Nice. Splendid bangle. Well, I love me a bangle. More quotes to be taken out of context. More ammo to be taken out of context. 
And then finally we got... Wait, something up there? Oh yeah, I guess we can climb up there, can't we? Do a little bit of parkour. Oh! Oh! We're here! This is where we climbed before, so this is where we went from the church. So the church is over there and we went all, all across here. That's why I said present last stream and Leon also said it and it fucked me up. <laughs> okay, um... We can inla inlay these splendid bangles. Uh, these are uh, Alexand uh, Alexandians, I think they were called. Oh, wow, yeah. Nice. Okay. So we can sell both of those and also that. Nice. Let's head back to the merchant, shall we? And continue on. I want to do a little bit more. I think. Good you can't damage this boat because that would suck otherwise. Yeah, all the all the battles in the world. Well, I'm already calling now. And Pacey gets here, she's gonna say this is really stupid. I mean, it is very stupid to be fair. Um, right, we've got to go to that moral thing, don't we? The closest place would probably from that be from that boat place. Well, I enjoyed the little lake exploration and getting all the stuff here. That was cool. They expanded on an area that was already very expanded on. So, yeah, it was a cool little place. And now let's go and put these heads on here, shall we? And employ the faith. The faith build. Does your hands weigh heavy? Oh, they have like big claws, don't they? Nice. I don't know what that's used for. Disc build with a complex mechanism. I guess we put that on the church. Hey, Hannigan. Condor one to roost. I found the key to the church. Copy that. Now go get baby eagle. Right. No time to chat. I'm going in. Condor one out. Ah, just fucking keep calling her Baby Eagle. I'm sure they're not listening in to what we're saying right now and having a good chuckle. Ah, oh, they're there. They call them their Baby Eagle. So stupid. Right. Yeah, we still can't do anything with that box, but it's fine. Oh, I did say I was going to go to that boathouse. And we didn't go to that boathouse. I was saying that we could be back later on to go do that stuff. Uh, expanded map treasure, expanded map treasure. Way shrine treasure. God damn it, I want to go back there. I mean, there's also the locked shrine as well, though, to be fair. And we're definitely going to be, be back there at some point. Fuck it. I will, I will assume we're going to come back, so I'll wait until then. And if not, then... Do you copy armor? I'll just have to remember to do it at the beginning of my um of stream <laughs> next time. I can tell by the look on your face. Oh, I did, didn't I? Well done. You've proven yourself reliable. Well, thank you. Oh my god. You, yeah, you fucking do. Can you match on to five or some? Years haven't been kind to us, I suppose. Oh. Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Merchant. At least you're in a good game now. Will that be all? Yeah. Might want to take care of any leftover errands before going this way. Be ashamed to live the rest of your life wondering what if. Am I right? Shit. Well, that suggests to me that I'm not going to have the boat anymore. Okay. Um. Well, if that's the case, I guess I am going to go back there then. Well, this is the thing. It's connected to the main map. Maybe he's talking about the boat. I'm still going to do it, actually. I've decided. I've changed my mind. We're going to go do that. I'm just going to make sure we actually get a chance to do it now. Alright. Uh, we don't have a herb to actually combine of that. It's a little annoying. And we can also complete another quest while we're here. So we can sell both of these. 
Oh my god, we can get a lot of money right now. Egg! I'm also gonna sell the other eggs I have. <laughs> I don't want the fish. I'm very good. Thank you. Well, I, I guess actually I might as I might as well bring out, get rid of the Punisher now that I've used it enough. But I could probably just upgrade the fuck out of the Red Nine, or I could sell the Punisher and get the upgrades from it. Yeah. Let's just have an F to the Punisher. It was a good weapon while we had it. Ah, uh, right. Goodbye, Punisher. <laughs> Thank you. Still have some new items. You might be. See how that feels, mate. Fellow like yourself should notice the difference right away. Oh, 100 percent Try that on for size. Oh my god. There you are. As you wish. This kind of work is about finesse. Rocket launcher! I can also get this as well. I'm gonna say size it isn't everything. God damn it. Alright, um. Do that. Do that. I could probably put the bolt launcher in here now and use that as well. Put the, put the item here. The item there, here, there, here, there, you shake it all about. We get the bolt launcher and we put it back in the inventory. That's what it's all about. Oh, it's very small as well, to be fair. Okay, well, let's go back to that place I saw then and go do it. Do it. Make the sacrifice. And go back to here. Uh, we need to put us on our shortcuts too, don't we? No, oh, we can you can do that. That is cool, but I'm not going to do that. Right, put that there, and then I think we can also do a little bit of crafting as well. Attachable mines. I suppose that could be attached to the bolts with G or Lake Spurn and proximity. Would that also destroy the bolts? <gasps> I can get some more bolts. I mean, fuck it. That'll be a fun thing to use later on. So now we have some bolt. We have some explosions we can put on. Oh my god. Okay. I don't know if that'll destroy the bolts after doing that, but we'll see. Yeah, we have a bunch of new arsenal. Like compared to um the original um RB4. Or there was a little stutter there as we came out. It wasn't too bad to be fair. Uh, compared to the original RB4. We're getting to do a lot more upgrading in this game. They give you just a, a shit ton of treasure and money, which I do quite like. I like I like being overpowered. I will never complain about not being overpowered. Or saying that, we'll, I don't. It will give me an edge in combat, but I think combat will still be a little bit difficult, especially when we get to some of the stronger variants later on in the game. All right, but anyway, we're back. I hear monsters. <laughs> hey, come on! Right, no. Don't be rude. No! Don't become evil! There we go. Before I fight any more of you, I'm going to loot this place. I'll have that. Pearl Bangor. Okay. Wait, so in theory, I can get back to the church going this way, right? Because there is a route up here. Like, I don't see myself being blocked off. You good? I'm sorry, buddy. Okay, we can go in here now too. Nice. 
Yeah, we go to a bunch of places. Oh, what is this? Can someone catch me the giant yellow fish that lives in the safe, uh, lake for me? Fish oil as many users after all. This photo should help you find it. <laughs> oh my god. This game has everything in it. It even has fishing. It has spear fishing, in fact. Oh. Are you dead? Who are you? Oh god. No, I don't know, but this is optional, apparently. Poor person. I was, I was surprised that they didn't come alive, but I guess how would they? They're dead. Interesting that they have, like, an optional thing here. Okay. Oh... Uh... Okay, Ashley isn't here, but I guess this is where they tortured these poor people. God, yeah. Well, that's terrible. The forest altar. Hmm. Definitely, um, much more of a horror game than the original was. Which I think will make a lot of people very happy. No jump scares. The game didn't like throw anything at us there, which is was quite nice. Just allowing the horror to be. Oh, never mind. Oh fuck. That is not good. Oh, there's more than one. Very good. Uh. I think it's time to try this out. Woo! No! Shit. Oh, why was his face there? It, like, became more mushy. I don't enjoy. We don't get our bolt back. Okay, that's good to know. No! Oh, don't kill me, Scooby, please. Okay. He didn't come alive. That's a, I actually prefer that as a reveal to the original game because... I mean, actually, no. Mm, because I did like the fact that the dogs just appeared randomly and there was no cutscene, so they just... Uh, appeared out of nowhere and they started running towards you. But in this, there's a cutscene, so you kind of feel a little bit less scared of them as well. I don't know. I think they both have their merits. Different ways of doing it. Right, let's open this. So they give you a simple key here, so you can actually open this chest. Or just, not this chest, this gold bar. Shit. I forgot there was an explosive there. Another por porch, mate. I don't think Lu Luis is hiding out here, but... Yeah, we're gonna go find something down here, I'd assume. Where we first found his body, just in a body bag. So they... Im they imprisoned him down here as bait, I wonder? To get Leon to come here? Oh, here we go. Three years ago, my beloved daughter passed away shortly after giving birth to her son. Since then, the boy has grown considerably. He was a very curious child and has a true thirst for knowledge. He even tries to follow after me when I go out hunting. I can't take my eyes off him for a second. Whenever he walks, we walk in the forest, he's always at, he always asks me to tell stories. Oh, so about Luis. Uh, I'm guessing this is him. He's very fond of Don Quixote. Although he's still small, the boy is smart and observant beyond his years. If he were once stuck here, he might have become a scholar. I was a careless fool. I could have sworn I shot clean through the wolf's head and yet it lunged at me. I was able to make it back to the cabin, but my wound is swollen and discoloured. I cannot bear seeing the boy's worried eyes. The body moves on its own, and I can hear voices inside my head. Am I going mad? I can't n die now and leave the boy alone. Dear God, protect him. Is that talking about Luis, or is it someone else? It, it described him as a boy, but I don't know if Luis is a boy. 
He could have just been looked young for his age when he first came here after the Umbrella stuff. Because we know he was here because after he worked for Umbrella for a time and then I guess he was planted here at some point but then revolted against them. Because he knew something about a vaccination or vaccine. And I'm pretty sure we're going to see that in this game as well where I'm going to assume that Luis is going to die in a very similar manner to how he died in the original game, but far later on, apparently. Because he appears uh, in the island stuff as well, so... I don't know how they're going to do it. We'll see, I guess. Right? I could, like, not waste a bolt here. Do that. There we go. See, that's Busco. I'm not wasting a bullet that way either. The, t the true survival horror in me is allowing me to actually get through here without worrying too much about ammo and stuff. Uh, there is one more thing behind me. That might be just out of reach for me to use my bolt gun on it. Yeah, it is. Okay. I don't want to waste it because I want, I want that bolt. Bolts are much more precious to me than one pistol ammo. So I guess it doesn't entirely work out. Right, I want to have a look back here and see why we can't go back this way instead. This is entirely optional too. Which I really like. Oh. I see they've caved it in so we can't actually go back anyway. Okay, well that's good to know. So me going this way was a was a smart. I'm glad I didn't miss this. Well, it wasn't it wasn't really a smart either. The game that she told me, if you had any loot sentence, you won't be back here for a while, stranger. Or mate. As uh, the merchant calls us. I mean, he is like Australian, so uh, him calling us mate makes more sense than the stranger. Because we're his friend now. We're not just strangers to him in this game. We're buddies. All right, let's head back. I like the uh, the, the odd green glow that the water has here. It's very good. Obviously, it would be green considering the probably the, the amount of algae in there. But there's also probably a lot of um, iron in it as well, so you think it'd be a little bit red and um, a much more darker colour, which is kind of dark to be fair. And lots of creatures have been killed inside of there because of Del, Del Lago, who sounds like a coffee. Hmm, the Del Lago. I, I mean, I wouldn't have it because I don't like coffee, but... No, I'm good. Um... Right, well, I want to go and see what this is up here. Ah, could be a good place to end, but I'm going to go a little bit longer because I want to go see the whatever the hell is up there. So I think we're about as ready as we can be. What can I, interest you in? I mean, you can interest me in selling this. Oh, it's done. Is that, that key done? It is. Okay, right. Sell that. Sell that. Your valuables won't do you much good in the grave. Was that was that a threat? <laughs> ah, I'll buy it at a high price. Will you now? I could sell these two weapons because I'm not going to use them ever. Yeah, fuck it. I'm never going to use these. Thank you. Hmm. Free ammo. Ah. Uh, right. Do that. Good luck to you, stranger. Thank you. And then um, I'm gonna wait till, till we get one more so we can get an upgrade for this. I think it's a laser sight. What? It's a tempting offer, but I'm thinking I'm gonna hold off a little bit for longer. Let's increase power on this. And also ammo capacity, and let's do power one more time on that. And let's increase the power of this. Okay. Oh, don't worry, I will. Right, saving. Let's head and fight wherever the hell this is going to be. I'm pretty sure it's the boss. It's the boy. Um, I'm going to make... I mean, I can only make rifle ammo to be fair, so let's do that. 
Does, it, does the flash grenade work on the parasite that appears, I wonder? It could be worth finding out. Yeah, we can make both anyway because we've got enough gunpowder, so let's do it. Oh, we don't. <laughs> well, shit. It's fine. It's fine. We'll just, we'll just do it next time. I'm fine with this. I'm fine with this revelation. Right, let's get this done, shall we? Oh, we can go up here and get this. So... Oh, we can get uh, an actual upgrade now. Uh, I'm going to buy more shotgun ammo. It's always good to get more shotgun ammo, I think. Considering how good the actual shotgun is. And I'm going to be using it a lot in this fight, probably. Since I'm running out of rifle ammo. Oh, hello. Before we leave. Right. Butterfly lamp. I think that's my only treasure I have. So let's start putting stuff in that now, shall we? In fact, we can just immediately start laying it with um, yeah, with gemstones, with red gemstones. Nice, try bone this as well, so it's 1.4 upgrade. Uh, yeah, we do not have a lot a key for that yet. Right, let's continue, shall we? Oh no, let's not. There's more resources here. I think we can actually get. What? No, we don't have enough. We need way more um, gunpowder for that. Okay, here we go. Uh oh. Shit. Oh no. Oh, it couldn't be so bad, could it? Oh, look at this guy. He looks cool. Oh no. And now he's too angry to die. Oh, is it? Leon, could it potentially be that thing that I couldn't carry that thing earlier? Oh, he's big. Ooh. Okay. What's that noise? I like the uh, the sound of like elevators in the background. Okay, sure. No, you're not getting rid of that. Enjoy. Oh, one more. And now that gun is useless. <gasps> oh! He's so anime! And the lightning too! <laughs> yeah! Hi! Hi! Ow! Oh, that's not good. Um. Oh god, a clock shot. Not the, not, not the kind the people wanted in this game, though. Who are you? Kill it! Do it! You got it, buddy! Oh! I bet Leon's like, what the fuck is happening? Right, you do that, you distract it, I'm gonna get some stuff. Uh... Okay, right, we can combine that with this. Okay, nice, we've got some more stuff now. Um, we can make more shotgun ammo. We can make more bolts, to be fair. How many more mines do we have? None. Okay, right. Hello? Oh, hello! Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> no, don't do that. That's weird. Right, right, right. Now, 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 now. Let's test it out, shall we? Oh, that did, did that good damage, I think. I think I heard it. Like, go. Yes! Oh, yes! Yeah, they kept this for the original game. Wonderful. Stab, stab, stab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, oh. Of course they did. Oh, good. Hooey. You're doing a good job, buddy. You're going for his Achilles heel. No. He's good still. Good. He's a staying buddy now. Yeah, who are you? Oh, be careful. Whoa. <laughs> go, 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 in. Oh, this is such a dynamic fight. I love it. Right, okay. Um, grenade. That didn't do anything. Right, run.
Hard to hit. There we go. Good, nice, go in. Oh, we're in the we're in that roof now. Okay. <laughs> okay, this isn't, this isn't the best uh, shot. Oh, where am I? I'm in. Oh, I'm in home. I'm home. Okay, I've got to hide in here. Can't get me while I'm hiding. Oh. No, I'm getting out. Bye bye. Oh, run away. Fuck. All right, we can't use that anymore. We got some red nine ammo. Let's use it. Nice. And more hits. There, there. We did it. Yeah. Goodbye, buddy. Looks like you're not the big dude anymore. Looks like Leon is. Wonderful. Okay. Almost a kill sandwich. <laughs> Do they both reference Resident Evil 1 of that line and also pay homage to the original line? Oh. <gasps> Thank you, buddy. Thanks, bud. Yeah. Good doggy. I'm so happy they kept the dog part of this fight. Right, well, this is going to be a little bit anticlimactic because I'm going to head back to the merchant after that and save because I want to do the boss at the end. But yeah, that was really cool. I enjoyed that fight. Uh, I'm not going to say it because why would I? Uh, before we end, um, oh, I'm going to do what I always do and do my phantom playing part because uh, I forgot to do it last time. So I'm going to do it at the end of this. Definitely. All right, let's also sort out my inventory before I end. So let's um move some of this stuff. So if I put this here, then I could put the ammo here. Okay, if I put that there, bring that down there, put that there, then I could put this here and here. Nice. Okay. Well, that was another part of Resident Evil 4. I ended up in the same room, basically. We did the entirety of the lake and we fought Del Lago. And then we finally fought El Gigante at the end, which was about as good as the original fight was, I would say. If not if not better, considering the graphical increase. So far, this game has stayed very faithful to the original, and I really appreciate that. But it's also had a few expansions, like with the lake and some of the structural differences in how you get to certain places. So yeah, that overall it's been a fantastic little playthrough so far. I've loved it. I loved every second of it. And we're gonna end there right now.